Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering so much. Muito bom, sogra! Hello, 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 my amigos, my Brazilian friends, my fellow gringos, all friends of all hemispheres. Welcome back to my channel. Gringo Eats, where we show you some of the best food that Brazil has to offer and what this particular gringo thinks of that food. So today we have got a real treat for you. My favorite Brazilian food is on the menu tonight. My favorite that I've tried so far at least. It's called caldo de mocató. Okay, this is a, a really special soup that my mother-in-law is currently making for us. She makes it so, so well. I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like, what it tastes like, and well, I can't wait to eat some of it for myself. It's my favorite Brazilian food. So with that being said, let me start by telling you a little bit of background information on this soup. But first, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel on the way into the video because you know you're going to like what you see coming up next. So this caldo de mocató is basically a traditional soup made with the lower leg of an ox or a steer as the main ingredient, okay? It is full of cartilage. That is the best part about it. I love cartilage. I love eating meat that comes from the joint of an animal because it's full of cartilage. And this soup, the meat in it is, well, it's not even meat. It's just pure cartilage, which I love because of the flavor and because of the health benefits, right? It has a lot of collagen, which supports hair, fingernails, and tendon health in our bodies. So it's very nutritious and very delicious. The history of caldo de mocató is similar to that of feijoada, which is another traditional Brazilian food. I did a video on that, so if you would like to check out my video on feijoada, please check out the link above and you'll hear a similar story of where it originated. I'll give you a quick version of that story. So basically, way back in the day in the south of colonial Brazil, European slave owners would take all of the parts of the animal that were thought to be high quality and they would give the slaves the lower quality parts of the animal, which included the lower leg of the ox or steer. And so uh, what the slaves did at the time was they made the most of what they had and it turned out to be something amazing that they made. They made caldo de mocató, the way that we know it today, and it turned into a traditional food here in Brazil. Ta-da! So my friends, I am happy to say that I have got a nice little bowl of caldo de mocató right in front of me. And before I get into it, let me tell you about some of the other ingredients that we can find in this dish. It's got, of course, the main ingredient of cartilage from an ox's foot or lower leg, right? But also, we have some other signature ingredients that really complement this dish and make it what it is. We've got quail egg, okay? A nice little raw quail egg to break into this hot soup and let it cook right in, in the soup. And also we've got some green onion. Uh, it's a must have with your caldo de mocató. 
So uh, I'm very, very excited to eat this. A lot of Brazilians actually would not be as excited as I am right now because though it is a very popular dish here, some people really don't like it. It's kind of one of those things that people either love or they hate. And caldo de mocato has a very strong smell, a very strong taste, and it's kind of got like a slimy texture thanks to the cartilage. So, you know, I can see why some people with weaker stomachs get a little freaked out by it. But for me, oh, the, the flavor is just too much to resist. It's so, so good for me personally. So I'm going to try my first bite, but first let me share with you the cerveja do dia or the beer of the day, the beer of the video actually. Oro Pretano. Oro Pretano. It's Oro Pretano Ginger IPA from Oro Preto. It is so good. Uh, today's a great day because we've got one of my favorite beers here from Brazil along with my favorite Brazilian dish that I've ever had. So yes, it's a, it's a great combination and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So mix up my quail egg a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks like a good bite. Get some green onion in there. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering so much. Okay, here we go. Mmm, wow, that is so good. I love everything about it, the taste, the texture. You know, you don't, there's really nothing to chew. It just melts in your mouth. And you know, it's got a very strong, like uh, almost like an organy taste to it actually. Um, but you know, again, I'm someone who can really appreciate that, uh, that thicker, heavier flavor, those strong flavors that you can get in special dishes like this. So yeah, yeah. Muito boa, sogra. Muito bom. Delícia. Ficou bom. Bom demais. Well, that caldo de mocato was so good. I had to grab a second plate. So I'm here on my seconds, but I'll say goodbye to you guys. I want to know what you guys think about this dish, though. Do you think that you would like it? Have you ever had it? Uh, do you think it's gross? Do you think it's weird? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please, please, please do not forget to support the channel by giving a like and subscribing to the channel itself. I will see you guys in the next episode of Gringo Eats. Ciao, ciao.